Hello! If you're looking to give your wooden floor a new lease of life, then our floor and edge sander hire pack is exactly what you need. This pack is ideal for working on old floorboards, traditional parquet and wooden block floors. The 42 kilogram 240 volt floor sander will make light work of most of the room with a 200 mm sanding drum, which operates at an impressive 1800 RPM drum speed. The edge sander will allow you to finish up to the outskirts of the room and hard to reach places, and it weighs just 14.5 kilograms. When using either of these machines, you will need plenty of sandpaper and you'll want to make sure you are using a suitable grade of sandpaper for the job at hand. Sandpaper, dust bags, dust sheets, RCD breakers and extension cables are available at checkout on hss.com. Both these fantastic machines can be hired individually, although they are designed to work in unison. Due to how popular they are and how well they work together, we've created this hire pack so you can save money and time. As the name suggests, this edging sander is designed to finish off the outer edges of the room. This handy machine allows you to sand right up to the skirting boards and reach those tricky spots that you can't cover with a larger and broader floor sander. This tool runs off a standard 240 volt power supply as well, has a 180 mm sanding disc. It produces minimal dust thanks to the built-in dust bag holder. Before you start using this hire pack, remove all furniture, curtains and wall hangings from the room. Using a hammer and nail punch, remove all protruding nails from the floor to ensure safety and great results. Open the windows and doors to the room you're working in to ensure good ventilation. Sanding discs are available for purchase and don't worry about buying too many as unused and unopened discs can be returned for a full refund. We'd rather you have too many than not enough. Here we'll show you how to fit the sandpaper to the edging sander. Turn the machine off, unplug and turn upside down. Remove the bolt with the key provided. Refit the bolt over the sandpaper, ensuring the abrasive side is facing towards you. Then attach the dust bag by clipping into place. Plug the sander in using the RCD plug. Tilt the sander back, turn on and gently lower down to the floor. We also advise you to be in a kneeling position and tilt the machine back onto its casters before turning on. To turn the machine on, simply flick the switch with your right thumb. Once released, the sander will stop. Lower down until contact with the floor is made. Turn the machine off, unplug and tilt back. Now to fit the sandpaper to the large sander. Turn the machine off, unplug and tilt back. Get a large flathead screwdriver to loosen the screws on the gripper bar. You can access this by lifting the front flap. Push one end of the sanding sheet under the bar, then rotate the drum by hand until you can fit the other end under the bar as well. Pull the sheet tight and retighten the screws. Check the drum moves freely and put back down the front flap. Fit the dust bag over the end of the nozzle and secure in place using the rings supplied. Check the connecting cables are connected correctly and turn on using an RCD plug. Tilt the sander back, turn on and gently lower down to the floor. You'll need to sand in straight lines. At the end of a strip, tilt the sander back and wait for the moving parts to stop. Go back to the start and begin the process again, sanding in the same direction at a consistent speed. You should overlap the sanding runs by about 75mm for best results and you can repeat the process changing sanding sheets until you get the desired finish. If your floor is in a particularly bad condition or the boards are warped, you can sand roughly in a diagonal motion from top left to bottom right and then top right to bottom left. You should then sand in straight lines as previously detailed to finish. When working, we advise you to put the power cables loosely over your shoulder to keep it safely away from the operating machine. For both machines, move them back and forth throughout the room and don't apply additional pressure. The sanding sheets will provide the force needed to complete the job. It's important to keep the machine moving at an even speed, otherwise you may damage the floor. Please note, care must be taken to protect any visible pipework from the coarseness of the sanding discs, and we recommend PPE including goggles, gloves, respiratory mask and steel toe boots. To find out more about our sanding products and for all our best prices, visit hss.com today.